Yep. I'm going to talk you through a sunk float paternoster rig. This is a great rig for using on rivers or for suspending a bait in still waters. We've got our sunk float. You can see this is a clear design. You don't need uh, any colour or anything with this type of float because you're fishing it under the water surface. At the base of the extra large sunk float, we've got a piece of silicone tubing and this attaches it to the swivel at the top of our rotary up trace. Now this is a ready-made trace, so don't worry if it looks complicated because all these are available ready-made to tie onto your line and use straight away. So we've got our up trace, and the reason that we have an up trace for this type of rig is because the rig fishes vertically in the water, and this stops our lower trace becoming tangled with what would be our main line, and that could cause a bite off. So if we're using a paternoster or sunk float rig, it's important that we have that up trace. Now, moving down the rig a little bit, we've got those of you that do a bit of carp fishing will be familiar with this. This is a helicopter style setup. And if you're using a mobile bait, uh, such as a live bait, this allows the bait to swim around without tangling the rig. However, don't think that this is just a rig for live baits. You can also use this with dead baits to suspend them over rocky, snaggy bottoms or above weed. So it's quite versatile in that respect. We've got a ready-made paternoster trace and you can see compared to a normal dead bait trace this is a little bit shorter we don't need a big long trace for this type of rig the most important thing is that it's considerably shorter than our up trace in case it should ever get tangled to prevent a bite off below that to hold the rig in place you'd have your weak link now to make it easy to see what we've done here i've actually tied it using bright red power gum but generally you'd use around six or eight pounds uh, monofilament for your weak link and you can set it to any depth to have the bait off the bottom so you might have it a foot two foot three foot off the bottom and a little bit like zig rigging for carpet can pay to try different depths to find the depth that the pike are actively hunting their prey at the bottom of the weak link we've got a lead now you'll need a decent size weight for this, minimum of two ounces, ideally closer to three, and that will uh, make sure that the bait, uh, that the float is actually pulled under and that the, the rig sit sits vertically on the bottom of the lake. One other really important final point for those of you using a sunk float rig, as when you're using ledger rigs, bite indication is really important when you haven't got a float on the surface. So it's important to always fish with a tight line, with a drop off indicator, and ideally with a bite alarm as well. Like I say, a very simple rig, all these components are available, ready to use, and a deadly rig whether you're suspending a live bait or a dead bait in rivers or still waters.